Hey friends, and welcome back to 5 Minute or Less Game Reviews. If you're looking for more reviews like this, please hit that sub button. Today we are excited to review Mortal Shell, a new Souls-like RPG by Cold Symmetry. Let's get started. Mortal Shell starts you off in a dreamlike world to learn some of the various mechanics. If you played any Souls-like game before, none of this will be new to you. Oh wait, I can turn to stone? One of the new key mechanics is the Harden function. <clears throat> The ability to turn your body into a stone-like substance no matter where you are in your animations. Mid-attack, falling, doesn't matter. This is to encourage players to be aggressive with their attacks. For every time you hit an enemy, your character builds Resolve, a new resource that's a bit different than the traditional Souls game, but more on that later. After your fun dream, you find yourself in Falgrim, the world which your character will explore. You quickly realize your health is much lower than before, and in order to protect yourself, you need to possess a body? You're a wraith? Didn't the game already do this? This body, or shell, is how you gear your character, learn new skills, and discover where to go next in the story through their memories. Even when your character dies, you can jump right back into their body and give them full health. But only once though, and then you die, for real. One of the bigger things you notice right away is that you have no reloadable healing item, like an Estus Flask. That is accurate and on purpose. There's no reusable healing item in Mortal Shell. There's mushrooms and rats to munch on. But your lack of healing doesn't last forever. Early in the game, you will find the Tarnished Seal, an item that unlocks your first Resolve power, Parry and Repose. By using one bar of Resolve, you can empower your Repose to steal life from your opponents, again encouraging players to be aggressive in order to keep their Resolve up. Your weapons can also be upgraded at workbenches to unlock special attacks that are very powerful and make you invincible during the animation. However, they require two bars of Resolve to use. Managing your Resolve is key to succeeding in this game. Finally, you may notice this new gauge on various items. The more familiar you get with items, the more effects they can have, such as learning to play the loot. Keep on working at it, buddy. The positive of the games are as follows. The engaging combat is super fluid and satisfying, even more so than a traditional Dark Souls game. The game feels very original. It's a great twist on the otherwise kind of stale Souls-like genre, making it feel very fresh to play. And the atmosphere made by the developers is just such a perfect fit for this environment. Some of the negatives are, it's lacking customization. Your wraith, your weapons, and your shells are all kind of one size fits all. You can mix and match them, but no leveling stats means that you can't really make your own unique character. And that's really it, there's no other downsides. There's just not enough weapons and shells, and I want more! Should you play Mortal Shell? For Souls-like fans, absolutely. Stop watching this and go buy it. This is the only thing that's going to hold you until they re-release Demon Souls on PS5. If you're new to Souls-like games, I would say yes, go grab this game, it's really fun, it's easy to learn, and you'll enjoy playing it. If you're not a fan of Souls games, why are you watching a whole review on Souls games? Go do something else. And that's our time, please hit that sub button, come hang out with us on Twitch Monday through Friday, and we'll see you in Fallgrim.